let's talk about Concred. What is Concred? Concred is when you've just been to a convention, you get home, and you are sick. You could start as early as during the convention, that's usually how it works for me. Like a fever, a headache, a stomach bug, it's not fun. We're trying to not get sick. Let's talk about ways of avoiding Concred. But first, let's get some coffee. There are actually things that you can do before you even get to the convention to help you avoid Concred. First thing is simply taking care of yourself. If your immune system is high, it's going to be able to tackle things a lot better at a convention. That means getting regular rest, sleeping well, not being too stressed out if you possibly can. It means eating properly and I take a multivitamin every day and that should help my immune system be normal or okay. There aren't a ton of things that I recommend that you do when traveling to a convention. Don't take this with you, we'll take a smaller version. They make those little wipe things in travel sizes too. Anti-disinfectant wipe. That way you can just wipe down the armrests and seats and anything that you're touching a little bit. What can you do when you are at a convention to prevent concrete? Number one, take airborne. It says to take three a day. It is supposed to help boost that immune system and help you out. The obvious one, hand sanitizer. This is one that handy dandy straps to the strap of my bag. You use it all the time, forever, over and over and over again. Offer it to all your friends too. Or when you see them using it, be like, hey, can I have some? So if you touch anything, use hand sanitizer. If you touch anybody, use hand sanitizer. If you play in a demo, use hand sanitizer. If you use the restroom, use hand sanitizer. If you've just eaten or are about to eat, use hand sanitizer. So another thing that I brought in case I was gonna get sick or feel sick at Gen Con was just some like painkillers, Tylenol, Tums, Pepto. If I get a really bad headache, if I can just stop it from getting worse or uh, happening at all, I can usually feel better the next day. Whereas if I don't stop it straight away, it can spiral and I can just eventually end up getting sick. And another thing that medication wise to bring is lozenges. You are probably gonna be yelling at people. You can't help it but get a sore throat, right? So bring lozenges, things for your throat to help you out because it happens. Another thing that happens to me a lot at con is that my face tends to break out. Wash your face every day, morning and night. Make sure you just take care of it. Take your makeup off if you wear it. Another thing is do not touch your face during the day because all those germs that you're getting and you're touching your face with are just gonna get into your face and just make you break out common sense try and get all of your meals in try and make sure that you eat some fruits and vegetables get your sleep make sure you sleep enough and that is a rule that I still have to work on listen to your body if your body is like starving if it's way over exhausted it's okay to skip an event and take a nap instead it's okay to bow out from the burger thing and be like hey I gotta go somewhere else I gotta go get a salad Listen to what your body is telling you because it doesn't want to get sick either. Another thing is don't over schedule. I end up going to customer service and returning some events anyway. If you're going to schedule events like back to back like that, at least try and have a little bit of a gap in between and bring food with you. Granola bars in your bag. Make sure you're hydrated. Bring a ton of water. Drink and chug water all day. For all of us that enjoy a little drink at Gen Con, don't go crazy with it. At least if you're gonna have drinks, make sure you drink plenty of water to try and flush your system. Them. Having a hangover totally tanks your immune system. Make sure you have food in your stomach before drinking. Useful tools at Gen Con? These bad guys. Hell <laughs> those. Instead of high fives a lot of the time, I will be like, hey, elbow five, instead of hugging people. I know it, it seems obvious, avoid people, avoid shaking people's hands. And that can be a lot more difficult than you think, especially because I am a hugger. Another handy use for elbows is elevators. I, I haven't done this myself, but it pressing the elevator button using your elbow, that way you don't have to touch the buttons that everybody else has touched. When you are using the restroom, wash your hands, wash your hands all the time. And then as you're leaving, use some tissue to open the door. You can also use your shoulders and body and legs to open doors for you or to hold doors open. Try not to use your hands because your hands end up going everywhere and making you sick. Another really bad habit that I have is that I bite my nails sometimes. Make the delivery system from whatever you've touched to go straight into your body because washing your hands, using hand sanitizer, all that might not necessarily get right under your nails. So if you bite your nails, you might just get sick quicklier. You're just accelerating the whole process here. Don't eat with your hands. If you order a wrap or if you order a burger, anything that you would usually eat with your hands, people say just use your knife and fork to eat it. You know, just avoid doing that delivery system thing. Don't just like, ah, 
I try to avoid is using cash at conventions. Everybody's touched it. I just try and pay with my card everywhere. Most places will have a square reader. I haven't interacted with any booths at Gen Con this year where I actually needed to have cash on me. Talking about touching things, demos, games. If you're gonna play in a demo or something like that, be very aware that you're touching a game that other people Use hand sanitizer beforehand, play the game, but don't touch your face or your mouth, and then afterwards just make sure you hose down a little bit. One last thing that was suggested to do at a con is to bring a humidifier with you. If that's something that you struggle with, I go for it. Bring a humidifier with you. If it helps you, bring it. Like You need everything going for you. You are your body's best cheerleader. Take care of it. Alright, so you are sick of Gen Con. That sucks. I'm sorry. Tell people you're sick. You might feel that that's a little embarrassing or isolating, but tell people you're sick and they will appreciate it. They will try and make sure that they don't make you more sick. Avoid the awkward like, hey, let's hug. And you're like, oh, I don't want to hug. I don't want to make you sick. They will appreciate it uh, so much if you tell them you're sick. They will offer you all these sorts of medicines and hand sanitizers and things. So it's, it's, it is a win-win. I promise you. If you are sick, listen to your body, you know, it's gonna tell you how to fix it, right? Sleep, eat, medicine. If you happen to be the sneezy kind of sick, make sure you sneeze into your elbow. Uh, do not sneeze into your hand and then touch people's faces. And that's kind of it. I mean, if you are already sick after Gen Con, I'm sorry, I tried my best to help you out. Gen Con has been so stressful and so busy for you. You've done a lot of things, met a lot of people. So don't go out like running marathons necessarily. Just Try to ease back into normal life. Uh, I'm sorry you're sick. Better luck next time, okay? <laughs> Alright guys, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you liked my video. If you did, I would super, super love it if you could like the video and share it. And if you have any comments or questions or anything like that, please comment on this video. I try and get back to pretty much all of them. See you guys next time. Bye!